I've been a nacho for about two years and a half or something, almost three years. And I really can't take care of my hair anymore. I have 4C hair and as you can see, it's the back is really tangly and coily and thick. So I'm gonna give myself a break, sort of, and tech slax my hair. I look crazy right now, but it's okay. So I'm gonna be applying some Vaseline on my edges. So nervous. This is the texturizer I will be using. The Dark and Lovely No Mistake Curl Softener. It's supposed to elongate or stretch your curls, but it's it has the same process as a relaxer. And it kind of is a relaxer if you keep it longer than you're supposed to in your hair. I've seen mixed reviews on this and the uh, Just For Me Curl Softener. And, you know, some people, they got a good experience with it. Some people didn't. So, I'm hoping that this doesn't mess up my curls. I'm going to be applying some almond oil to my hair just to protect it. Because I don't want it to straighten my hair or anything. I'm just going to apply a little bit. This is pretty light too, so. The loosest part of my hair is my front area. And the back is very kinky. So, I don't know if the box is going to be enough for me. I should have bought two, but the back is my main focus to get that you know soften the front I'm not worried about the front it's okay it's just a back I So here are the pros and cons of tech slaxed hair. Your curls are more defined, softer, and elongated. My hair strands are able to clump together to make a beautiful curl. Now for the cons. Your hair will feel weaker, your curls are non-uniformed, and you're banned from the natural hair community. Womp, womp, womp.